Back to ground, everybody. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Check out this amazing base. Yeah, we built that just last episode. Want to check it out? Look at the top of the description. It was a pretty crazy one. But yes, we built a little bit of a home away from home. A rake base slash rake outpost. Largely because... I want to go and explore that terrifying area filled with freaking abominations. I've literally seen mutated insects come out of there, which is terrifying. And I mean, this place is already terrifying enough because we literally live right above a wolf spider. But I digress. Let's go ahead and check this place out because there is also some good, 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 good news that I do have. They fixed the game. They updated the game. Woohoo! And mushroom farms are finally working again. So a little bit of a side note over there. And also, in order to venture into that area, we're going to have to get something crafted first and foremost. We're going to go ahead and do that as well. Also got to watch out because, again, this is the most dangerous area I've ever decided to build in. Stink bugs love it. Wolf spiders love it. I actually built right above a wolf spider's house. But check it out! Don't even need to You'll love it. to see that. We got water, water, and more water. So we can actually stay hydrated in those regards. And let's just go up to the top floor of our wonderful outpost over here. Where we are going to be creating exactly what we need. The gas mask. This is going to let us actually travel into that abominable area. That we were just taking a peek at. We got everything that we need to get it after creating some of those woven fibers. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Boom! The farts of this world will do nothing to us now. You hear that? Fart land. I fear you no more. So we're going to go ahead and equip this thing. It does have durability. I hope that doesn't like get worn down Feel a little less squishy now. just by wearing it or just by going through the gassy areas. But ooh, dude, that actually ends up looking like a really cool gas mask. I'm not going to lie for literally. I mean, actually, this is terrifying. I'm wearing an insect's face on my face. Faceception. But what I also want to do before we head out is craft up some materials because that's going to be a dangerous area. So obviously we need smoothies make some smoothies blup 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 the easiest smoothie recipe around literally just tossing some plant fiber into each of these three slots and what you know what you know we are just pumping out smoothies like it's no one's business and smoothies are kind of sort of well incredible why is that well look at my health bar in that bottom left hand corner oh what is that i just hit the seven button oh i drank a smoothie and it just instantly healed a bunch of my health oh you know what i want another smoothie boom shakalaka more heals baby so it's a pretty nifty freaking healing item, but without further ado, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no stink bugs up here? Okay, that's good. We got plenty of arrows for this adventure we're about to set out on. Lads and lassies, ladies and gentlemen. I need your blessings. I need some good luck. How is there a green piece of grass over there? I want to see what that's about. That has no business being green. Oh, even the music is super spooky. I definitely don't want to take any fall damage! <laughs> Okay, and there we go. Fall damage has been taken. Wow! Smells awful in here. Who had a breakfast burrito? Holy guacamole. So, uh, what is that noise I hear? Oh, it's the mutant. It's the infected weevil. Oh, we want to back it up out of this thing, but this is actually something good. We want to hunt that abomination. Oh, <laughs> for some reason, he supersizes my arrows. I want to definitely not step into his thing. Yeah, he, he, he really has some mutant properties going on. He's supersizing my flipping arrows, bro. Look at that. Loop. I'll go and grab that and the other arrows that we did utilize. Stop rolling. Okay, well, that arrow's on a freaking... That arrow just doesn't even want to be with me anymore. It feels bad. What is that thing? An infected mite? Oh, my God. Is everything in this area infected? Bro, if I come across some sort of a super spider, I'm going to be terrified. But hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day. That does just keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way. Yaw, yeet. Nope, missed that. Yaw, yeet. Into you. Oh my God, this thing's powerful. It survived a hit for my infected thing. Dude, I feel like... Uh, I don't even know, man. It does look like our face mask, our gas mask, is not taking any durability damage, though, which is good. What did you drop? Fungal growths. So that's actually a very important resource for us. Fungal growths, if I'm not mistaken, can be utilized in making grenades. Oh, I thought that said bratwurst for a second. Zabrats, baby. I love zabrats. Give me zabrats. And the kielbasa. Oh, yes, I love zabrats. Oh, no. Ow. Did he just shoot me? Did anyone just see that? He just shot me. That's not fair! He has a gun! He has a gun! Oh, no, 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 no! I've just been shot by a mite! 
You what, mate? You what, mate? <laughs> Get it? I'm sorry. That was an awful joke. You what, mate? <laughs> that was such a bad joke. It caused my voice to crack. Oh. Suspicious water. Oh, I hear the scuttles. Yeah, so it looks like there really are a lot of these infected mites. They do not appear to drop anything, however. Ah, I've been shot again. Oh, he is a friend. That's why. Dude, that's literally insane. They're literally, they're like archers, dude. Get that shenanigans. Where are you people coming from? Are you just pooping yourselves out of each other's buttholes? This is shenanigans. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't even want you jumping on me, bro. Not cool. And uh, we are getting some mite fuzz from that. I need Don't even need to boil it. a smoothie. I might not have brought enough smoothies. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. I thought I was prepared for the smoothie apocalypse, but no, 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 no. So is this like safe to drink? I mean, personally, I've never uh, drank juice out of an area infected with uh, pesticides. You know, seems, seems to be pretty good so far. Yeah, okay. That is very legitimate, very safe. Uh, F I, I reckon that's FDA approved, honestly. That looks pretty FDA approved. Okay, ah, uh, so we just gotta like, when he kind of like rears his legs, gotta be ready, because that means he's getting ready to shoot. Oh my God, dude, there's so many of these infected mites around these parts. Luckily, it is a two shot kill with uh, what we are rocking over here. Oh, no, 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 let's juke him a little bit more. And we're getting a lot of this fungal growth. So we got that going for us. Oh my God. They seriously are very prevalent in this area though. At least we're not finding more of those freaking uh, boom boom guys. Uh, yeah, those guys gotta get some laxatives or something in them because they boom boom all over the place. No bueno. Bro. Oh, speaking of the boom boom. Hello, Mr. Boom Boom guy. What happens if I get close to you? Like, what actually occurs? Genuine question. Ah. He boom booms anyway, so I don't really need to shoot him, do I? We might be able to get around that. Maybe. I want to get, though, over to that. Could you? Oh, I want to build on top of that. I don't know how safe that'd be. But I wonder if we do climb up that, if that could potentially give us safety. I'm going to look around in third person, by the way, just because, again, I fear for my life and the possibility of an infected spider. Because, <laughs> dude, this has turned the mites into four-shot kills. I don't even want to imagine what this would do to a spider. It's got me spooked, bros. It seriously does. But yeah, hopefully boys and girls are having an absolutely awesome day. Hopefully there is no pesticides in your day. And if there is, hey, uh, make sure to hit that like button because that like button will uh, give you immunity from all pesticides. Yes, so if you will not become an infected mite, you will just stay as a normal mite. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking out for you boys and girls here. So just make sure to go and hit that thing. Ow, dude, these things are painful. Ah, can I stun you please? We're getting a lot of fungal growths at least. But, oh, okay, we got this fella. So, okay, what happens if I uh, hug you over there? What do you do? Again, he just goes boom, boom. That's all he does. That's all he does. That's all he's good for. He's like a baby. All he does is go boom, boom. It's a different kind of boom, boom, but I digress. I just, I, I do not trust myself going near his, like, acidic wastes right after. Is, is our, I see that thing's taking damage, but I wonder if that's actually just from the combat or what. I don't know, but so far it does appear that the only two enemies we've come across are mites and the boom booms. Everything else we're okay with. What in the truck is this? Excuse me. Can I hit this? Uh, yeah, nothing happens though. Also, it appears that we are getting close to a science lab. Huh. Oh, hello. What are you doing, my friend? Can you open up, please? Nope. Okay. Very unfortunate. I could have really used some shelter from this abominable area. Oh, I hear things. And they're not good things. Are these things farting? I hear farts. I think these things fart. Oh my god. Everything goes boom boom around these parts, brother. Literally everything. No, 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 no. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. No, that's illegal. You can't have spiders here. Oh my god, I don't even want to go into there. That has me terrified, so... We're gonna go into there! I'm the king of bad ideas, baby! Ain't no one dethroning me! So far, it hasn't been the worst idea in the world, so we do have that going for us. Potentially, the spider that wove that web 
may have actually died instead of becoming infected into the greatest monstrosity of 2020. Oh my god. Are those infected ants? Or are those normal ants? I, I, I actually don't know. I, I'm gonna let them do their business. They're... I mean, they're just hunting after little weevil. They... They appear to be pretty normal fellas. I... I... I would have a beer with those guys. They seem pretty chill. Hey guys, are you... Oh. What is this? What's going on? Something's mad at me and I'm not sure what. Are you mad at me, Ant? No, you're, you're a cool Ant. You're a worker Ant. You're just hustling. Although it does appear that they are slowly dying. <laughs> in... In the acid. So where'd they come from? How'd they get this far in without getting damaged? I have so many questions. Also questioning why in the truck we're taking damage right now. Yeah. Lots of questions. I wonder what happens if we keep exploring this way, dude. I want to explore the absolute edges of this abominable area. Oh my god. Is this normalness? Is there a normal si- Oh my god! Freedom! No way! So it's not all an awful area? Oh, that's actually hype, dude. That's hype. I mean, it's not a lot of area, but... Well, hi, diggity dog. I'll be darn it. Call me Tuesday. Holy guacamole. We are witnessing something interesting here. Where are we on the map exactly? Like, we're... Jeepa Liba, we're far away. So is this the infected area we were just in and everything else is kind of normal-ish? I don't know, but I do see more openness this way. Now don't get me wrong, I'm very terrified of the prospect of a spider showing up right about now. Uh, we're, yeah, we're kind of close to the house. Very close, actually. This is like the corner of the backyard. Well, I'll be darned. And what is that thing? This little wooden structure. I'm not sure. Just appears to be a little raised wooden structure. Is this just like a dead end? There's got- Oh, dude, I, I refuse to believe it. There's got to be something cool in the corner of this map. Corners are the coolest thing since That's sliced clean. bread. You're telling me there's not something cool in here? Lies. That is propaganda. I tell you what. There's got to be something in this corner. There's just no way. You know what? Why would there be a corner if there wasn't a reason for the corner? You know, corners have to have a purpose. And we're going to find out what the purpose of this one is. If not, this might just be a very kind of... Oh, hello. Oh. Ooh. Can we get out of the map? No way, dude. No way. Is that the way out of the backyard? Dude, you want my... You what? Oh! Did we just find our way out of the backyard? Hold up. I'm gonna save the game because I'm a, I am suspiciously suspicious. That's right. Twice the suspiciousness of what happens if we go in here. I, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we we've done it. We've done it. We've gotten out of the backyard! Now, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> Looks like the backyard is the universe in the world of Grounded because there ain't exactly much for us to go to. I did just save the game, so if something goes disastrously wrong, we can revert. But ladies and gentlemen, that is cheeky breaky. And even though there is nothing here at the moment, discovering something like this, that has me... That has me curious. I feel like... A future update at this point. So we already know that the next update is shaping up to be like the water update, introducing a bunch of like new additions to the pond and stuff like that. But with a suspicious little corner like that, I feel like one of the future updates we're gonna get in grounded is gonna be some kind of an expansion into like a neighbor's yard or something like that. Because there is a very deliberate hole. And as you can see, there's no other holes like that anywhere along this entire fence. So that hole's gotta be there for a reason. All right? Most holes are where they are for a reason. And this one, I done diddly do believe to be exactly the same case. So we have found something very interesting.
All it took was going through the most toxic parts of freaking Grounded. And we didn't even have to step foot in the Modern Warfare 2 lobby either. Like, yeah, we avoided that toxicness, at least for now. <laughs> Who knows, maybe there'll be a Modern Warfare 2 lobby on the way back. Dang, bro. Then where in the truck does this lead to? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and find out. But yeah, as we are doing that, like I'm saying, I'm wishing y'all nothing but the best, regardless if you're having a good day, if you're having a poopy day. Well, if you're having a poopy day, I hope that thing turns right around and turns into a good one. Wishing you nothing but the best, positive vibes, good energy, just fan freaking tasticness all around. And hopefully your day does go on the upward swing. And if you're having a good day already, hey, how big is even gooder, bro? I hope if you found a $10 bill on the ground, I hope you put five feet forward and then boom, $20 bill right there. That's, that's, that's the type of stuff we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, nothing but fan freaking tasticness now. Which part of the map are we in now? It just looks like a lot of grass at the moment. Not seeing a lot of uh, important pieces. I will go back to the toxic area. So I feel like there's more there. So it looks like these areas at least so far, are relatively unfinished. I think this is where we'll see some future updates expand into as well, and I could definitely see the grounded developers kind of, well, making them more interesting. Because, like, you gotta, you gotta admit, these are not exactly interesting locations at the moment. Just a poop ton of grass. Like, not even like, oh, okay, I take that back. This is an interesting stump. I've never seen a stump so interesting. Hold up. No stumps usually mean wolf spider. All right, I gotta, I gotta stay on my toes here. <laughs> I don't want to run into one of those. I'm going into third person. The amount of times a wolf spider has snuck up on me from behind is too dang high, bro. I am uh, not risking it for that biscuit. So far, it just appears to be a suspicious stump. Just being suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Well, sorry, stump. You're doing a pretty bad job at that. Unless this area... That's what we're looking for. I do see an ant over there, so it looks like there's civilization. But no actual entryway into the stump. Oh, a magnifying glass. What? Why is there a magnifying glass here? Bro, the west side of the map is... Oh, hold up. You can climb this. Can you climb this? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just going to stop trying to climb that. It does not appear to be climbable. I thought maybe there'd be something hidden inside. I think there is actually. Hold on. Look at that. What the? What the heck? What is in there? Something inside of that stump. Okay. I take that back. I want into the stump. And we're going to make our way in. But yeah, wishing y'all nothing but the best, nothing but positive vibes, good energy, and all that jazz. Coming. Yo, way. My day. Eh, it's going all right. Could be better. Could be worse. But honestly, just knowing that hopefully... Ah, oh, not good. Ow. I need a smoothie. But just knowing that hopefully... Ow, that's a mushroom. Now, <laughs> could you imagine expecting to be drinking a smoothie and all of a sudden you eat a mushroom? That would be... I'd be disgusted, bro. Oh, this is promising. This is promising. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in. I don't know exactly what we're into, but we're into a very strange little stump formation. So before we dive into here and potentially get ourselves stuck, hey, hey, let's make sure that we just go ahead and click save really quickly because I do not want to be stuck in a stump because I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's a way out of this stump, but uh, YOLO. What could go wrong? It's just a random stump with dead grass everywhere. What is the meaning of this? What the heck? Yeah, so if you somehow manage to get into this stump, you actually are dead. Unless you can sustain life on dried grass. So yeah, you are actually dead. There is no way out of here. <laughs> I guess I could build out, but... Nah. And alrighty, let's take a detour away from freaking Stump of Doom. Okay, let's make sure that we do not get stuck, by the way, wherever we decide to stump over to. We are not stuck, but make sure that we don't die of fall damage because there's some sketchy places to fall. Let's check out that magnifying glass. I want to see what that's all about. Because, yeah, I don't think these areas are necessarily finished because there just doesn't appear to be the most, but th this stump is interesting. 
Like, why is this stump here? Like, what do you boys and girls think about this stump? Especially with this magnifying glass. Why is there a magnifying glass here? That's very deliberate. I wonder. Can we get burned? Like, if the sun hits this at the perfect angle? Oh my god, can you imagine? It does fire damage to wherever it's focusing on? That'd be hilarious. Alrighty, though. Let's start circling back over to the toxic area. It is starting to get a little bit late at night, so I don't want to get too far into the middle of Bufu freaking Egypt in the middle of nowhere. And the toxic area is already slated to be a ton of fun, because, well, it's toxic. No, not Britney Spears toxic. But it is toxic. <laughs> okay, we got some thistles here. We got that little lantern there that actually does light up at night, which is pretty cool. And the back this abominable area and uh, hello what is this hello we found some pipes Can you get stuck down there looks like you might be able to get stuck down there hold up what happens if we go down here okay so it appears there's a hole. I think someone was doing some maintenance. What are these? Probably like the, the pipes that go to his uh, sprinkler system or something like that. Oh, I hear you, you freaking... Why are you mad at me, Ant? Oh, no. I think it's just the ant taking damage from the poison. Sorry, Ant. Uh, hopefully you live a good life before you die of evil chemicals. Hmm. It's just getting rather dark and spooky, though. And Oh, I hear that. Oh, oh that, that good old-fashioned noise. Oh, my God. It's this abomination. Yeet! Oh, no, 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 no! Back up out of there. Okay, does that damage you? Okay, so it doesn't damage you. Don't even need to boil it. It just looks very suspicious. Oh, more of you, eh? Do your thing. Yeah, all you gotta do is give him a little boop. And then he just blows himself up for you. What a nice guy. Truly. A gentleman and a scholar. Am I stuck on this side of the... No. Okay, so no, it's literally telling us that this area is under construction. Now, it's not going to stop me from exploring the area, but thank you for the heads up, game. Appreciate it. Wow, it gets dark at night. Who would have thunk? But yeah, like I'm saying, I was, I don't know. I'm having a pretty mediocre day today. Eh, just some nuisances throughout the day I've had to deal with, but honestly, it just feels good to be able to drop a video. Hopefully spread a little bit of cheer, a little bit of joy, and honestly, just the thought of that already has a smile on my face. And honestly, already just fixed it on my mood, being able to record and has some fun. So, hey, like I'm saying... Hopefully there can be some joy, some smiles, and all that going your lads and lassies ways. Because that will definitely bring some joy right back my way. Oh, I hear things. I think they're above me. Also, where are we on the map? Are we... Okay, I think I know where we are. We're back in where we saw that freaking uh, ant army. Well, I might need to go home and sleep because it is getting way too dark, dude. Hold up. Now, look at this. There's a freaking... There's a tunnel. Well, this is terrifying. Where does this lead to? Oh my god. I'm gonna need to come back here when there's like more light or something. So I feel like there's something here. I just cannot exactly see it due to the fact that it is literally so dark right now. And I don't have the things needed to like craft a torch or something. And it is officially nighttime, but interesting. We stumbled across some sort of a strange cave. I am intrigued by this thing. I gotta make a mental note to look around for that. It's pretty close to the edge, because you can literally see our base right there. Now, we do gotta be careful, though, because, uh... Well, the spiders like this location. <laughs> they actually call it home. Right over there, there's actually a hole. That the spider lives in, I believe. I'd like to not get jumped by that fella. I'm gonna take the, uh... The elaborate way in. Come to me, my rake. Ah! No, that's the shooty mite. It's the infected one. Don't hurt me. Ah, and home, sweet home, does await as we can enter from our beautiful rake, which is way nicer than having to enter literally by that rock, because that is where there are stink bugs. That's where there's a wolf spider. And I'm not going to lie. I think our base is going to be attacked by the wolf spider and stink bugs, because it's what they do. Literally, our base has fended off a spider before. Stink bugs, they attacked us in the early stages of our base. Actually, no, they've attacked us in all stages of our base, now that I think about it in blue. Water filtration tablets Stick some of that water. Oh, did not mean to click that. Boop. 
No, no, I just want to. There we go. I was hitting the wrong button. Hit you. Tiny Pete's ready Catch some Z's. And wake up. You got another morning of freaking toxicness to go through. First things first, let's go down to our lower area. Woo! We got more mushrooms. That'll be our food for the day. Uh, wow. A ridiculous amount of mite fuzz. I'm not complaining. Just observing. I'll toss some shrooms in there. Because literally you can make these basic smoothies out of mushrooms. There are some special smoothies you can make. And I think I want to whip those up in a future video. That do grant you special effects like, oh, you know, gives you bonus damage. Or, oh, uh, I, I, that uh, increases your max stamina. Like a few cool things like that. And I would like to look into that. But for now, hold up. Even my base confuses me sometimes. I'm not used to having a base that actually is like cool. I'm used to just going bare bones, functional base. But grounded is freaking turned a new leaf to me, man. I'm just used to going for the functional base. This is beyond functional. And it confuses my small brain. <laughs> it's cool though, man. I love what we did with this place and all the different floors and stuff. Now, alrighty. Let's go and find that freaking cave, son. See what that's all about. Hopefully not take too much fall damage up in here. Maybe if I parkour to this leaf, that'll save some fall damage. Okay, only took a little bit. Hiya! And let's make our way over here. And just be careful, because again, a spider literally lives in the rock right under us. And who knows, Mama Spider might be out hunting. That'd be- Oh my god, that's a massive bubble! Look at this thing! Woohoo! Baby! That's glorious! Oh, I drank it all. Well, that's sad. Okay, okay, okay. Now back to what I was saying. I want to try and find that secret water pond. See what that was all about. I am intrigued, Sonny Jim Bob. Where in the truck was it? I think we might be too far. I think it might have been a little bit more this way. So we literally like saw our base in the distance. Oh, is this it? No. By the way, can I just say that the noises of this place are absolutely terrifying? I hate it. Okay, there we go. Is, this, is that it? Yes, no, absolutely not. Somewhere over here, though. There was. Okay, well, that's where the freaking science area is. That's not what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for water. There's like a freaking cave somewhere around here. I'm struggling to find that boy. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, I only had to get lost again in order to find it. You can know, it's literally like Narnia, dude. You, you gotta be lost to find this freaking pond. Oh, there's some clay here. I gotta start collecting some clay. I think that that will come in handy. But what I'm looking to do is see what's in here. This actually does not help much because it is still incredibly dark. This appears to be a strange dead end. I probably should have brought a torch in here. Okie dokie, y'all. I got sick of not seeing. The power of Helion. I got a torch. What incarnation is in this cave? Why does this cave exist? Literally for no reason. Why is there such a cool secretive cave that does nothing? You disappoint me, cave. You truly do. This toxic freaking wasteland. Wow. Well, I'm a little bit upset. I made that torch for literally no reason. Woo! Now if you'll excuse me, I want to get over to that thing. The gas canister. Could there be, like, super... Like, is that maybe the closer we get to the canister? The tougher things get? Maybe. Oh my god, love to see that fungal growth. And some mite fuzz, too. Oh, here we got the boom boom. Hello, Boom Boom. How you doing? Oh, here we got an ant. Is the ant gonna attack the Boom Boom? Or is he gonna kill the Boom Boom? Oh, are you okay, ant? I'm sorry, I did not mean to, for you to get Boom Boomed like that. That's a savage fate that no one deserves. Dude, this area is just spooky. Can I not parkour on top of this? Oh, uh, you do not want to hear that noise. That means something whack's about to be attacking us. There's a boom boom somewhere, ain't there? Let me just get up on a vantage point here and see what's going on. Uh, well, you can go under it. Appears to be some sort of like a little cavern down here. That'd be a cool place to build, you know, besides the whole fact that you're dying the entire time. <laughs> That's not very cool. Okay, we're being attacked, but by what? I see more spider webs, by the way. Which does terrify me. 
We're just back by the bench. There's a lot of spider webs by here. Gee, Baliba. But no spiders. Dude, I got a bad feeling that we might see some updates that bring mutated spiders. Because we haven't run across one yet. But I feel as if one does exist. All right. What about up here on the stick? Is there something up on the bench? No? This could be a cool place to build. I'm not going to lie up on this bench, but... Does not interest me at the moment. Because it does also seem pretty toxic. But as long as you got the toxic mask on, like, that shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Oh, I was gonna try to parkour a little bit more. Where are these things scuttling after us? Are they, like, stuck in the rocks? Did they get glitched? Might be. hey -ya! Parkour. And here's this structure. And all of its glorious abominableness. hey -ya! Oh, don't know how you made that. Well, there might be a way up to it. You guys see that? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You son of a gun, I'm in. I feel like if there's anything cool hidden within here, it'd be on top of the most noticeable thing in the entire toxic lands. And our ticket to get it. It's right over there. We just got to get on top of this rock. Oh, rock. How do you do? How do I get on top of you? I think it starts with park and ends in core. Or we might need to build up to it. I hope not. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got to make sure not to whiff this dude. I wonder if we do build up there, by the way. Could technically that make us safe from the gas if we're like above it? Hopefully, I really should have a dandelion tufts. But I like living life dangerously. It looks like it's cleared up a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude! If we build up here, it's actually a safe area! Holy guacamole. Gives us a perfect vantage of a few other things going on, too. But... More importantly, we're not taking toxic damage. Oh man, I wonder if there's anything up there. Well, I'll be darned. Talk about a cool location. I can see our, you can see, I can see my house from here. Look at that. But no, I think, can we build here? Eh. There appears to be some problematicness with trying to build on this, to be fair. Maybe, can I build like floors on this? Does that? Oof, so if we do want to build on top of this, it's going to be complicated. And by that, I mean, I might need to build all the way up from down there. Build up like a bunch of scaffoldings and then actually build a base on this because as of right now, nothing appears to be placeable on this thing. Hmm. We got a little bit of thinking to do. I think that goes without saying. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do th think that is a pretty good point for us to go ahead and end up this episode of Grounded, our exploration of this strange, toxic land. I still want to see what's up in the north. I think I see a barbecue over there and a shed. And I do think that over there in the hedge, there's a secret boss that awaits us too. There's still so much for us to do in Grounded, dude. And I'm excited to get to it. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Grounded. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.